Well, we can see that some uh, stains are left which are not possible to remove. The tile is in short supply and there is no right to fail. Hello everybody, this is Vako, a professional tiler from the Baltic States. He lives in Norway now. We're going to put this stencil on the tile for it not to shift any single millimeter. In this video he is going to share his uh, foreign life hacks. It's 99.9% .9 that you are going to spoil the tile and the painter's ma uh, tape or masking tape will help us. If you are related to the construction industry, you know that the most important tool for the Russian industry is the blue electrical tape. Watch it closely and it was pleasant for me to hear that it's pretty much the same in Europe. but. It's the masking tape, which is the backbone of the European in industry, so we are on the right track. Enjoy watching. Look here. We pull tiles together with masking tape. To pull tiles together, after it has been laid, we use masking tape. Uh, but please find the one which is elastic like a piece of rubber. So look what we can do. We uh, put masking tape stretched or uh, we pull it tight on the tile and if you have even more power you add another layer. It has a very big strength. The uh, tile cross cannot be removed in this case but if you manage to pull it out if you manage to pull it out like that, look what is happening. You've seen it. The masking tape pulled the tiles together. A smooth opening between two tiles. When you need to make a smooth faced opening in two tiles at the same time, half there, half here, if you use that bore, or a drill bit, um, in most cases, you will spoil the tile. But in this case, we can have a masking tape as an assistant. We pull the tiles together and then we drill immediately in two tiles. The piece is coming inside, so we remove the masking tape and take a look how beautiful it is. The uh, masking tape is a friend of a grinder disc. It happens sometimes that your hand goes off and you put that metal piece on a tile and you spoil it. Look what may happen. you have spots or stains that cannot be removed. What to do in this particular case? Again, use that masking tape and uh, put it around this wheel. Nothing happened. A nice cut without drywall. To cut off a drywall, or a piece of gypsum board or any other material that you have, look, we're not using a pencil. We t take a knife, a tape measure and make a cut on the one side and on the other side. And uh, we leave a knife in the material. So we, we attach the level to the knife and uh, we keep it with one hand without looking there. So we align those two marks and we cut like that. And look what happened. It looks so nice.
good marking with a masking tape. We continue our life hacks, how we use the painters or masking tape. We attach it on the tile. We measure exact length using our knife. Up to a single millimeter. Then we put a level exactly on the marks. We cut off this masking tape and remove the cut off part. And here is the line that is so accurate and you would never have it either with your felt pen or pencil. Glue um, and mask tape. The masking tape helps out if we need to uh, have a transfer, not from tile to tile, but from tile on something else. So we have to protect the edge of the tile and we put another piece of the masking tape on the wall. We have some glue, apply it like that. And uh, then we remove the masking tape and you can see the line where the tile should be. We cut mosaic Norwegian style. To cut off mosaic tile we need to do chamfering or beveling but it looks like a uh, uh, floor cloth but again the masking tape helps out. We put several layers on mosaic tile. The more layers, the better. The tougher it is. The tile looks like monolith. So, we are using Unique Tools by Gennady Smolyanov. You can find it in Instagram under the old Tyler 36 nickname. This model is being shown on TV for the first time. It's his new model, it's unique because you can put Dewalt, Bosch or Makita on it. Different producers of different um, disc grinders. But if you don't have it, you can just uh, do the chamfering or beveling using this particular grinder disc. You can see a wonderful beveling edge. If you wish, you can work on an angle grinder disc, but it's not required here. A masking tape and a breakthrough solution for marking. Here we are going to have a sink, a TV set and a big bathtub, but it's not about that. Today I'll show you how to um, take dimensions if we need large size tile from floor to the ceiling and uh, when there are many pieces of equipment we have many openings to do and uh, we have to come up exactly to that cabinet and when the tile is in short supply and there is no room to fail let's go What are you doing? Ah, you know. Here we go. We can use uh, cardboard or any other material which is rigid and which is not losing shape. We are doing a stencil or a paint mark. If you have such a big, if you don't have such a big piece of a cardboard or any other material to be used as a stencil, you can glue together two pieces of cardboard and if you cut it uh, as you want, lines like that, 
you can use that metalized tape and in this case this piece of cardboard is gonna be rigid enough and you can use it a huge stencil for the entire wall and uh, let's see what we did here look here for the stencil to put on the wall we are cutting off holes like that like that and you put a piece of Mark Giver metalized tape the most reliable one in the world and then using that scotch we are gluing or fixing this stencil to the wall then once we have finished this particular uh, mask tape would be used to put this piece of stencil on the, on the tile not to shift it a single millimeter hey wake up let's get back to work all right look the stencil has been put on the wall where uh, there are uh, openings for holes let's cut out freely things like that we, you don't have to do it uh, up to a single millimeter you leave some spaces around the same is true for the floor the same is true for the for the ceiling leave some space between so we put the stencil like that put a laser marker on the edge of the on the edge of the of the tile is going to be right in the middle of the cabinet and then we start marking there are two options how to mark you can use a knife on the edge if your wall is made of concrete but if there is a water seal for it not to for it not to get spoiled you put the knife aside and you take a very good sharpened pencil to have a very thin uh, line like a blade but for a gala show i'm going to use a felt pen for everybody to see it look i put my level exactly to the floor and i am drawing a line on the stencil one line and then I am drawing another vertical line exactly on the laser light on the edge of the tile this line is very important and then I put the level the five centimeter thick level to all cabinets or to any other surfaces that have to be um, have to be uh, have to have a junction with the tile and I just uh, draw lines around those objects and the same is true here so I think that you already understand what I mean so what's next there should be a hole drilled here you put a le lever level like that and it's not very important it should be not exactly 90 degrees vertical you pull it uh, put it on the one side and draw a line then do the same on the other side and uh, the same from the bottom and from the top And you do the same for all uh, for all openings with 
all p places where holes have to be drilled or openings have to be made. Your precious time will not be wasted. We do it um, off the stage and continue. So, a good job we have done. We have just drawn all lines, all openings are marked and here as well. And the most important thing is to not forget to mark everything before removing a stencil and then we are taking it away from the wall. And uh, put it on the tile. And I am going to um, give you give you a life hack that there will be no large size tile there. We are doing that just for you to show how we can make a stencil on a large size on a large size tile. So the stencil uh, is lying on the imitated large scale tile. What is important? The line where the laser beam was, uh, was uh, showing. We align exactly with the edge of the tile. And when the line is aligned, then we put the stencil exactly on the tile, not to shift it during the transfer of the marks on the tile. And then we take a level, a felt pen. Uh, well, again, I can repeat that you can have a much better and accurate line with a sharpened pencil, but this is a gala show for you. Why am I using a felt pen? So we put a, le a, a level like that and we transfer. marks back on the tile so we put uh, masking tape like that not to clean it for five hours but you will learn the principle behind it how we get the place for openings and holes to be born so we are going to do the same with all openings as long as all stencil marks are transferred on the tile and we will save your time. Again, all marks from the stencil have been transferred to the, to the tile and uh, it's important to, to, to see that everything has been done before you remove your stencil. Please make sure that all the openings, all the lines are transferred on the tile. And note, even if uh, there is a slope on the wall, on the floor, the lines on the stencil will be on the tile in the same way. So now let's remove the stencil with an easy a movement of your head. So we are transferring this stencil with an easy movement of our hand into the trash. So let's find drill bits of uh, this size because the lines will be showing to you what size you need. This one goes here, this one goes there, a little bit smaller, it's just like that. You have lines on the, on, the, on the tile and you have all the marks to cut or to make holes. Let's continue. The masking tape and non-standard holes, as you have already understood, the stencil principle goes well for any complex shapes. 
when uh, lines are going like that. And if you have a specific circular opening, what has to be done? It's easy to make a circular uh, opening, but if we have an oval shaped hole, what to do? We put our stencil like that. We glue it to the wall with a masking tape. Someone may say that we can use this, this equipment or tooling, but it's up to you. But what we can do, we do it easier. Again, using the best friend of a tiler, which is the masking tape, we put masking tape on the stencil and we get a shape that we want. And then we are going to transfer it to the tile. So you know what I mean. The rest you can do yourself. That's it. The stencil uh, is also used in uh, complex uh, floors when we have many angles and uh, there are many curved walls or angle shaped um, things on the floor. And we can do stencil on the floor in the same way. So we put tile on a drywall in a separate room then put a stencil on top of the tile we make a contour and then we have a one shot and we cut the entire tiles for the whole floor well of course if the room is small if it's a bigger room in this case what do we do in this case a laser masking tape there are many other ways to remove, uh, sorry, to take dimensions and to transfer it to the tiles. The one that we showed today is just one point, but there are other options available. But on top, let's have another life hack. Look, this piece of metal I inherited from my granddad and he inherited it from his granddad. An interesting piece of metal with drilled holes. You can screw it to the wall if you need, but we are using we are using a masking tape. And look very attentively. So we are putting painter's tape like that. And you can use MacGyver, which is the best one. So where is our laser? And it just fixed like that and you can switch it on so it's easy to use you cannot switch it on if you want but when it's on it is showing something what else can be done with this piece of metal you take it off like that and then you can put into another place and uh, uh, just uh, fix this laser device on it again to make any line you want. So you don't need any tripods or mounts or holders to use. This is a little piece of metal that helps us out a lot and it fits easily into your car. Please look something similar in your garage. The operator is saying that I'm speaking too much. That's why this masking tape can be used to keep me silent. If you liked the video, please subscribe. If you learned something new, provide your comments below and you're advised to watch our Russian Tyler video. His name is Philip. We have made a great video for heated floor, but it was it has not been seen much well it's a big fake that a uh, self-leveling floor creeps out like water enjoy watching and until next time